Hi there, trailer owners. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at and showing you how to install Moride's U-bolt kit for a 7,000 pound axle. So now we're gonna be replacing our U-bolts because these ones were too short for the suspension upgrades that we're gonna be putting on here. So we've got our new U-bolts here. We can see these side by side. I'll go ahead and take the nut off of it so you can see how this U-bolt is longer than the factory one. So we can see it side by side there. Looks like we got about an extra inch sticking out. And we can go ahead and take our tape measure and we're just gonna verify that. See, so yeah, it's about an inch. When you're measuring the length, you wanna measure the inside dimension. So if we go here, it looks like our old U-bolts here were probably right at about seven inches. And our new ones here are right just under eight inches, maybe about seven and three quarter. And what that's gonna do for us is give us the extra length that we need for the additional components that are gonna go on top. So that way we've got enough room to fully install our nuts without uh, having it not go on all the way. Cause we don't wanna have part of the nut up and not be fully secured. We wanna make sure that when we've got these on here, we've got at least a couple of threads poking through the top of the nut. And that way we can guarantee that we've got this nut fully secured and tightened down keeping our axles in place. So we can go ahead and get these installed now. The diameter of the U-bolt that we took off was a half inch diameter and the spacing was three inches for a three inch axle. That's gonna be the same on these. The only difference here is that these are gonna be longer to accommodate our additional accessories. They're still a half inch diameter and they're designed to work with 5,200 to 7,000 pound axles. And we've got a triad of 7,000 pound axles on our trailer here, so this is gonna be a perfect option for us. You will receive new washers and nuts as well, so you've got all the hardware you need because when you go to take your old U-bolts off, it's not uncommon for the ends here to get all boogered up because of rust and corrosion and things like that. So now we can get these installed. To get our axle back into place, first thing we wanna do is use our jack here to lift the axle back up to contact the bottom of our spring. And if we look at the bottom of our spring, you can kind of see the peg here at the top that runs straight down and there's a nut on the bottom that's holding the stack together here. That nut needs to go down into the hole on the spring seat on our axle. So now I'm just jacking up the axle and I'm kind of pulling on it a little bit, just guiding it up to make sure that it lines up with that hole. And there it was, it dropped right down into the hole. If we kind of jiggle it, we can feel that it's down inside of that alignment hole. And if we look at the spring seat and the spring, we can see that there's pretty much no gap between them, which we would have a gap there if we missed the hole because that little peg would be putting a space in between. So we, since we have no space, we know we're lined up. All the way on the bottom, we're ready to put our U-bolts in place with our new bracket. So now we'll put our bracket in place. This is our front axle. So we need our bracket with the attachment ear here. This is where our shock's eventually going to attach to. That needs to face towards the rear of the trailer and towards the inside. So it's gonna sit on top of our spring, just like this. There's a hole in the center that'll line up with the peg on the top of your leaf spring stack. And it's gonna go ahead and wanna fall off of there. So we're gonna be lining that up. Then we're gonna take our U-bolts here and this is gonna slide up through the bottom and we're gonna poke this through the holes. So we're gonna get those nuts off of there. And I recommend you probably should get the nuts off of both of them. It just makes it a little easier if you've got these prepared so you can slide them up into place. So we can see how the bracket doesn't really want to sit up there by itself. So we'll just get these removed real fast. So now we're just going to take our U-bolt. We're going to slide it up around our axle. We'll take our bracket once again to make sure we've got it lined up with that center peg on top of the leaf spring stack. We'll then take the U-bolt and we're going to line it up with the holes in the bracket and now this is where when you get a new leaf spring a lot of times you have to spread it just a little bit to make it fit so i'm through the hole here on the front and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the u-bolt here and i'm going to get it close to the hole and i'm going to barely just squeeze in to pull this apart because they are kind of tight but with them being tight that means it does kind of hold itself in there you see i'm not holding the u-bolt i'm just getting the bracket lined up with the peg and then we can finish Pushing that U-bolt up, we'll drop our washers down on top and then put our nuts into place. Once we get this done on this side, we're just going to repeat that 
for the U-bolt that's gonna slide in on the other side of our leaf spring and poke through these holes here. So we'll go ahead and get that in place. Similar to the other one, we'll have to get the one kind of started and then we can spread it out just a little bit to get it to push through the other. Double check ourselves to make sure that we are on that alignment peg there. And then we'll just drop our hardware down on here. Now these U-bolts, they are a little bit long. You can see we've got some excess here. The previous ones that we had weren't gonna be long enough to where we wouldn't have the threads poking through the top. They would have been in it, they would have ended up almost flush with the top of the nut and that, that just wouldn't have been enough. We wanna make sure we've got that extra so we know that it's secure. If we have a little bit of excess like that's, that's sticking up, in most cases it's gonna be fine, but if we think that it might contact any components, we can take a reciprocating saw and just trim off that excess. But we wanna make sure we get, we get them tightened on there first so we don't mess up any of the threads before we make our cut. So now we can tighten these down using a 19 millimeter socket. When tightening them down, you wanna make sure you kinda of go back and forth between them. So we wanna have roughly the same amount of threads poking out on each one. So we're just moving around as we snug them down. And then we'll torque our U-bolts to the manufacturer's specifications. We're going back and forth between these as well, because again, we want it to be tightened down evenly. So now that we've got this one installed, we're gonna repeat that process for the remaining two axles. They're gonna be exactly the same with the only difference being the orientation of our brackets. And that completes our installation of More Rides U-Bolt Kit for a 7,000 pound axle.